to Beyond the Studio Pilates. Today I want to take you through some great core activation exercises using the mini ball. So we're going to start with a toe tap with a difference. So you're going to come down onto your mat, core engaged feet are hip distance apart. Then from here you're just going to rock yourself off the floor and place the ball into the small of your back. Bring your legs back to your tabletop position bring your arms out to your side, core engaged. Then from here, we're just going to tap to the floor with one, bring it back up and tap to the floor with the other, bring it back up. Now, if you feel that your ball is not in a comfortable position, you can always readjust that position of your ball so you get into a nice comfortable position. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core active. And this is really good for your core because the stability ball is making it harder for you to do your simple toe tap because you're trying to keep yourself stabilised at the same time. We're going to do two more on each leg. And final one on each side. Here we're going to bring one leg down and the other leg down and just slide that ball back from underneath you. Next we're going to go on to a dead bug type move. So getting your spine back in to its neutral, bringing your legs up to your tabletop position. From here you're going to just put the ball onto your knee, hold the ball there and then we're going to take that opposite arm and leg out, bring them back to the middle, swap the ball, push into the ball as you take that opposite arm and leg out. Push into the ball, take that opposite arm and leg out. Push into the ball, take that opposite arm and leg out. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged. We're going to do one more on each side like this. So this is working both sides of your body. And just coming back to the centre and from here oops, we're going to put the ball between your knees. Core engage, make sure your feet are still hip distance apart, arms come out to your sides. We're going to exhale and roll up into that bridge, squeezing your glutes to the top and then you're going to push into the ball for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here for an inhale and exhale. Slowly rolling yourself back down to the mat. Rolling back into your neutral, taking an inhale and exhale. Slowly coming back up, squeezing those glutes, pushing onto that ball for five, four, three, two, one. So, this is a really good glute and thigh workout, taking an exhale. Bringing yourself back down, we're going to do two more like this. Holding at the bottom for an inhale. And exhale, rolling yourself back up, holding at the top, squeezing your glutes, pushing your hips higher, and pulse on for five, four, three, two, one. Holding it here for an inhale. And exhale, slowly rolling yourself back down one vertebrae at a time. Nice, final one. Up into your bridge, holding it here and push into the ball for four, three, two. You should really feel this in your glutes by now. One, hold it for an inhale. And exhale, slowly rolling yourself. from here we're going to take back hold of that ball in your hands we're going to bring both legs up into the air you're going to roll your head neck and shoulders off the floor then you're just going to bring your legs in either with a bent knee or with a straight leg place the ball between your legs take your arms out and take your legs down low now you can decide how far you want to take this movement so just take it to where you feel comfortable if this is too much Bend at the knees, don't take your arms quite so far back and just work within the range of core strength that you feel you have today. 
We're going to do five more like this. So if you want to, take it back into your straight legs. Thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged, pelvic floor on and strong. Final three, final two, and final one. Super, bring these legs down and just giving yourself a full body stretch. Then for me, you're going to bring your feet back to flat on the floor. Ball is coming up in the air. You're going to squeeze your hands onto the ball, take an inhale. Then you're going to exhale, tuck your chin and roll yourself back up to sitting. Just readjust your feet if you need to. Take an inhale here. Keep squeezing onto that ball. Exhale, bring yourself back down to the mat. So we're just adding on a little squeeze onto that ball to our roll up. Final two like this, keep squeezing onto the ball. Make sure you've tucked your chin. Hold yourself at the top for an inhale and exhale, tuck and roll yourself back. Down, final one. And then bringing that ball back down. Excellent. So that was just a little example of what you can do with the mini ball. I hope you found it really beneficial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos you can do from the comfort of your own home. Take care for now. Bye.